Hey everyone, my name is Chris Hazard and I am a hiking guide. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what I consider to be the best of hike here in Death Valley National Park. We're gonna see Red Cathedral, Manly Beacon. We're gonna hike through the Badlands. There's a little bit of a uphill, but it's a proper hike. It's several miles. It's not just a roadside attraction like the other sites here in Death Valley where you just pull your car over and walk a few minutes. We're gonna get a hike hike in. And what I like best about this is we're gonna immerse ourselves in the geology of Death Valley. We're gonna see the fault lines here. We're gonna see where the volcanic rock is coming up over the old sedimentary rock from when this whole area was underwater. And this is the loop from Golden Canyon up to Zabriskie Point and then back down Gower Gulch. Another reason why I call this a best of loop is because the hike just starts very close to the Furnace Creek Visitor Center, which is sort of the hub of Death Valley National Park. And if you're at the Visitor Center, the trailhead is just about 10 minutes south at the Golden Canyon Trail. There's about a dozen spots there. And once you're in the park, you can just park there even since you paid your entry fee. And the hike is a clockwise loop. We're actually gonna go between the two roads up to Zabriskie Point and then do a loop back around. The parking lot is pretty easy to spot on the side of the road. You're right across the street from the uh, viewpoints for the Panamint Mountains, and that's Telescope Peak, the highest point in the park. There's a primitive toilet here, but no water refill, and sometimes they have trail maps as well. Don't count on it though, but maybe they have them when you're there. Now you're gonna want some sun protection. I especially like sunglasses here because the reflections off of all these light colored rocks are pretty harsh and I find my eyes struggle a bit when I don't have glasses. And you're also gonna want water. I bring at least two liters for the seven and a half miles or so. If it's really hot out, you're gonna to wanna to bring more water. And if it's really hot, say over 80 Fahrenheit, you're gonna to wanna to give this one a skip. It's best done in the winter. Like we can see here, it's 57 Fahrenheit. This is the perfect time to do it. When it's really hot, hikers specifically have died on this trail, so do not risk your life here. If you wanna see all of the gear that I'm using, I keep it up to date uh, with all the stuff that I have, nothing sponsored or promoted, just go to the website for all of that fun stuff. The hike has decent signage with uh, mileage on it. I like to break the hike down into three chunks to help me sort of tackle it mentally. And uh, basically one and a half miles, two and a half miles, and three and a half miles. The first section going from the trailhead up to Red Cathedral, it's a mile and a half. And if you just want to do that and go back, it's about three miles. But from there, we're gonna do another two and a half miles from Red Cathedral, past Manly Beacon, which is uh, this little uh, mountain here, up to Zabriskie Point, which is a viewpoint. And then the last section is three and a half miles. We're gonna go back down from Zabriskie Point, down Gower Gulch, and back to the start. The hike starts at the end of the parking lot by these trail signs, and you wanna check them out before you go, just make sure there's no notices there, any closures or anything, but we're gonna head into the canyon on the well-worn path, and this is Golden Canyon. We're gonna follow this all the way up to Red Cathedral. And the colors are incredible here. There's volcanic rock, there's oxidized rock, which is the red, which is rust, and there's a lighter color, sedimentary rock, that was once the bottom of the big lake that was here, and and a lot of the Great Basin, which is, this is the bottom of the Great Basin. If it looks familiar, uh, if you've seen the first Star Wars movie, this was the canyon where they shot the uh, part where R2-D2 gets tased by the Jawa right here. They shot uh, some of the scenes here in Death Valley, some of it was in Tunisia, but this scene is definitely here and it definitely, uh, you can recognize it if you watch it again. As you go up, you're gonna see some of this pavement. There was actually a road through here, I believe in the early 1900s, but obviously the elements uh, made short work of that, but you can still see the pavement as you walk along in some of the sections. Kind of naive to think in retrospect that you could have a road here that would stay intact, but you'll still see some sections of it that haven't been washed away um, at this point. Kind of interesting here. And as you look up, you're going to see all the sediments uh, from the thousands of years that these rocks were formed. You're going to see minerals. This was all once under the ocean. Like I mentioned, the Great Basin was here, and this was a lake uh, until about the end of the last ice age. And you can see the rock here. You can see some of the minerals, some of the salt. It's really amazing. It's sort of a journey through time to look at all of these different layers. As we continue up, you're gonna to start to catch better glimpses of um, Red Cathedral, which is that oxidized rock in the distance there. That's where we're gonna go. It's gonna be our first stop. 
there are some canyons off to the side as we hike up. We're going to go up the main canyon here. We're not going to go into these little side canyons. You're welcome to explore in there. Just obviously stay safe. Don't get lost. We're going to continue heading up along. Here's the old pavement again. And you can see the weathering is incredible here. All the rock formations, they've been pushed up because we're actually on a fault line. I'll talk about that in a little bit as well. Now, here we are at the Red Cathedral Junction. And when we come back from Red Cathedral, we're gonna go up here to Zabriskie Point. But right now, we're gonna go straight. We're not gonna go down this trail through the Badlands. We're gonna straight go straight and continue up towards Red Cathedral, which we can see straight ahead of us there. And again, we're gonna follow the main canyon up. And that big point right in front of us right there is Manly Beacon. It's not a real high point. It's actually volcanic rock that hasn't eroded as fast as the sedimentary rock around it. Um, and we're gonna go right underneath that on the way back, but it's an impressive rock. And if you look over to the left from there, you can see Red Cathedral, named because the weathering on it, it looks like the flying buttresses of a cathedral. Here's a cathedral in Germany. You can see it is pretty similar when you look at it. And if you're liking the video, it's easy to say thank you. Just give me an old thumbs up, share the video, and uh, tell your friends about it if you're coming to the park with them. It all helps, so thank you for that. Now, as you go up, there are some of these side canyons that have been blocked off by rocks. It's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. We're heading straight towards Red Cathedral. And you can see the canyon narrows and the rocks are more dramatic as we go up here. And there's Red Cathedral straight in front of us. We're going to go right to the foot of that. We're going to end up at the foot of that and then turn back around to go back to the last junction. Now here you can go up to the right and over. You can see my buddy's gone ahead and done that. That's a little more sketchy. The easier way is to go through this um, little hole here. It might be a little freaky if you're scared of uh, small spaces, you know, or that. But it's, it's not too bad. You go through it pretty quick. And it's a little bit safer than crawling up the sketchy walls there. You can see at one point there was a ladder climbing up here. It's a little bit of scrambling. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing dangerous. You're just going to sort of climb up these rocks. And eventually this trail will dead end and you will come to Red Cathedral. And this is really just a viewpoint. We're right at the bottom. We can look up, check it all out, and enjoy it here. And the nice thing about coming here is that when you turn around, if you do climb up, you're gonna get some pretty incredible views across Badwater Basin to the Panamint Mountains over there. And that's the highest point in the park, Telescope Peak. And that's actually on another tectonic plate all the way over there across the basin. Now we're done at Red Cathedral. We're gonna come back to the junction and we're gonna make the left and head up to Zabriskie Point, which is going to be our next stop. This section of the hike is generally through the Badlands, and that's what they call this mud rock here. It's um, sedimentary rock that was once underwater. And as we go through here, it can get a little confusing because there's a lot of canyons and side trails, but there are definitely trail markers along the way. You're gonna wanna follow these trail markers and uh, just go slow and make sure there's always a trail marker. There should be one about every five minutes or so. If you don't see one, you're probably in the wrong place and you're gonna wanna backtrack a little bit. Now in this section, we're going to approach Manly Beacon, named after a guy named Manly who scouted out and saved a party of settlers here in 1849. That's when they also named Death Valley. When they were leaving, going over the mountains, they said, goodbye, Death Valley, because they almost died here. But we're going to go up to the rock formation called Manly Beacon here. Only 800 feet, but when you're a little under 800 feet, but when you're underneath it, it's, it's pretty impressive. We're going to continue along some, some of the climbings here. Uh, this is probably the most climbing as you go up, but we're going to start to get some really great views over to the Panamints and Telescope Peak. And if you want more of these guides, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I do this and hiking technology and hiking gear reviews. So if you like hiking, the channel should be useful to you. And once we pass Manly Beacon, there's more of these markers. It can get a little bit confusing here because there's definitely areas where people have gone off the trail. So again, just make sure you're looking for the markers and looking for the well-worn trail as you continue here through the Badlands up towards Zabriskie Point. Here we are at the junction. And at this junction, we're going to go left. This is the Badlands Junction. We're gonna go left. If we went straight, we'd go to Gower Gulch. And I'll show you where this comes out in a little bit when we go back down Gower Gulch. 
but we're going to continue up, actually up towards that hill straight ahead over there. Now it can get a little tricky here. You can see there's a well-worn path off to the right. It's actually not the trail. You're going to always want to look for these little signs here. And you can see we're going left, and then we're going to do this little switch back and head uphill. So again, always look for the signs. Make sure you're on a well-worn path as you go up. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this part can be a little confusing. There's a lot of uh, what they call social trails here, but you'll see the main trail. We're basically going to head uphill up to the top of that ridge, and you'll see other hikers sort of spilling out from Zabriskie Point, which is a roadside attraction. And when you get higher, you'll be able to see the wall at Zabriskie Point straight ahead over there, named after uh, one of the guys who worked at the mining company here, the Borax Mining Company, as are many of the um, landmarks here around Death Valley. We're going to come up to the top of this hill. This is Gower Gulch where you see all the dark sediment getting washed down. We're going to go to the bottom and then make the hard left up into that canyon there. And this is the Brisky Point Junction. This is all well marked. Good signs here. You do get a lot of hikers, like I mentioned, coming from Zabriskie Point. We're going to make the hard left into this canyon. And we're going to follow this canyon for little last little uphill points or portion up to Zabriskie uh, Point, the overlook. And as we come in here, you'll be able to see up there, we're going into that notch. We're just going to go uphill into that notch right there. And as I sweat my way up the hill here, a big thank you to everyone who supports this channel. This video is not sponsored by uh, green shakes, folding mattresses, VPNs, anything like that. It is made uh, possible solely by your support. And if you'd like to support, just go to hikingguy.com forward slash support. There's lots of different ways you can do it. So uh, thank you everyone who's taking the dime to do that. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm gonna start huffing and puffing again. Let's go. And when we get to the top, we're gonna make the right and head up towards the viewpoint, which is another right. And you'll see the cars and the paved road. And here we are at Zabriskie Point, one of the finest viewpoints here in Death Valley. There's interpretive displays. You can get a great overlook into the Badlands that we just came through. All the different colors, the volcanic, the sedimentary, and the panamints in the back, the snow, it's really spectacular. And you'll also be able to see back over to Manly Beacon and Red Cathedral where we just came up from uh, earlier, where we hiked up from before. You can see down into the Badlands, the salt flats. The views here are spectacular. Now when you're done there, we're gonna go back to Zabriskie Point Junction where we came down before. And instead of going back up the way we came, that's where we came down from earlier, we're going to go down Gower Gulch, and we're going to follow Gower Gulch all the way back down to the, um, back, basically back out of the valley into Badwater Basin and then back to the parking area. And as you hike down, you can really notice the different types of rock. There's the sediment at the bottom of the canyon, there's the oxidized volcanic rock on the left, and there's the light-colored sediment on the right. We're actually on a fault line. Where we are now is heading south, and the other side where the Panamints was, was heading north. They're not only going um, in either direction, they're also going up and down. So where we are is going down, and that's why the Badwater Basin is so low. That's why it's the lowest point here. Um, and the Panamints are shifting up as we go. And as these plates shift, there's been a volcanic action over the years. Nothing explosive like the Cascades, but definitely lava flow and if you look up you can see the dark rock that's all lava flow and you'll see that as you go down here we are at gower gulch junction you'll see it off to the right in a wide part of the uh, gulch here the canyon and this was the earlier uh, one the connector basically if we skipped zabriskie point we would have came out here we're not going to go to the right it'll bring us back the way we came but instead we're going to go straight down and you'll notice um, a lot of the volcanic rock here you'll notice a lot of the minerals the first kind of Western settlers that came here came here for mining. And the big thing they mined here was borax. And borax is used in a cleaner. I think it's used in glasses as well. And you'll be able to see if you look up and around you some of the old mine shafts and evidence of mining. Uh, the ones that are lower have been filled up by sediment, but there's definitely ones if you look up, you'll be able to see them. And you'll also be able to see some of the roads that service them. Gower Gulch was actually paved at one point to service the mines, but that's all been worn away. You can still see some of the pavement, but you can see some of the old trails up top. And obviously the Park Service does not want you going into the mines, uh, but that's where they got borax. And if you go to the store today, you can still find 20 Mule Team borax. They don't mine it here anymore, obviously, 
Uh, they mine it close by in a place called Boron, California, but it's still a thing, borax. Now as we go down, uh, the canyon or the gulch gets a little bit narrower. And you can see the geology here is also spectacular. It's basically spectacular the entire way, but we have a little bit of a, I wouldn't call it a tough scramble, but a little bit scramble down as we go through the narrow sections of Gower Gulch. Uh, it's fun and it's downhill and it's not too tough. Eventually we're gonna come back out to Badwater Basin down there. You can see all the erosion from the, um, the flooding that comes out of the gulch here. And the trail is just off to the right. We're gonna follow this sort of cliff side around um, until we go around and head back to the parking area. Here you can see we're on this. I love this section. It's just visually spectacular. It just, it feels like you're on the moon or in another world almost. It's really impressive here. And at this point, the hike is almost done. We're gonna continue on around. You can see some of the traffic in the distance. You can see the Panamints again, which we've seen earlier. And eventually the wash will kind of disappear off to the left. And we're just gonna head sort of parallel to the road on this trail. And at this point, it's really hard to go wrong. You're just gonna follow this until we get back to the parking area. And here we are back at the parking area and that's roughly seven and a half miles of hiking. And uh, that's the hike. So that's the hike. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments or anything to add that you think might be helpful for other people wanting to do this hike, just leave a comment on YouTube. If you do have questions, I'm pretty good at answering them. And if you want to do another great hike here in Death Valley, try Telescope Peak. That's my favorite hike in Death Valley. It doesn't feel anything like this. It's a big high mountain. Uh, most, not most of the time. Some of the times it's covered in snow. I have a video for that, uh, which I'll put a link to here. And I also have a guide on hiking guys. So check that out if you want to do another great hike here in Death Valley. All right, folks, I'll see you out on the trails. Bye.